I hope this video does not start any drama because that's not what I want drama from the past. I literally just want to tell my story and hopefully it will encourage other females and maybe they'll, you know, recognize these signs early and save themselves the heartache, the abuse mentally, physically. First story time so you can get to know me a little better. But like I said, this is a heavy topic. So yo she has to be in my video yo she messing up my video what up lily gang welcome back to my channel this hair of mine is going through a rice water challenge so right now I'm on like day two of the rice water challenge. So letting my hair like just be at its own natural state. I knew you see you see the title of my uh of this video and I was kind of iffy on whether or not I wanted to put this um story time out. It is my first story time. Ooh! Look at the drip for today. Ooh, what is that? KOD clothing. You know, I told you guys. I have this t-shirt in a few different colors because I love it, love it, love it so much. Anyway, this is like um, a very touchy subject, so I was kind of iffy on even doing this topic, but at the same time, it is a part of me and my life and who I am, so I said, you know what? I have to do it, share it with the people. Growing up, I was very quiet, you know, shy, stayed to myself, like... I'm a very firm believer in like signs and everything happens for a reason. Let's backtrack. So, we all go through shit in life. Excuse my, hold on. Sing this a little. And for this story time, I will be talking about domestic violence, something I had to go through and I will never go through again. I promised that I would never ever. Like once is all it took and never again. 2014, I was dating this guy for almost a year. We were, it was like 10 months to be exact. Crazy I, that I still remember, but yes. I actually met this person through a mutual friend. I should have known like from the beginning, you know. I think about it now and it's like so many signs that I could have avoided that I didn't. But you live and you learn, right? This is a lesson learned and something I will never go through again. And they saw me on Facebook, I guess like I commented on my friend's post and that the guy saw, you know, started messaging me in my inbox, blah, 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 long story short. Ended up dating. If you ask him, we weren't dating for a whole, what, 10 months? I remember going to his house for the first time and I, like I said, I should've known like from the beginning. First of all, people think that like abuse is not only physical. It's not. It's also mental, emotional, like it's not just physical. One of our conversations before we even like met up was like about my exes and he actually knows one of my exes or knew one of my exes and was bad mouthing him, like, oh, so you like hands being put on you? And I'm like, what? My ex never did that. My ex actually is like the first person to protect me for anything like he's not even the type to argue like so I was confused but it turned out like him and my ex which I didn't know had like bad blood from back, back in high school so that's all that was about and it turned out that my the one that was saying that I call him the crazy ex was the one who was abusive I literally remember going to his house and it was around the summertime and he was like in the pool and um I wasn't dressed to go in the pool, so I didn't go in the pool. Um, and I remember like him getting out the pool, you know, talking, whatever, la la la, long story short. And I remember him asking me, like, do I look like my pictures? And I'm like, yeah, like, what the hell? Didn't even think anything of it. So I think I told him no one time this, like I said, after us dating already. Like the first month, like remember him saying like I was a catfish and that I don't look like my pictures. And I'm like, really? To the point where I started questioning everyone. Like, I don't look like the people that knew me knew me. I'm like, I don't look like my pictures. I don't look like my pictures. Like, yeah, you do. Like, what are you talking about? I'm like, oh, okay. You know, getting like um, insecure. Like, oh shit. Like, you know, what, what? Am I fatter? Am I, you know, whatever. Like, you know. 
So they're all like, no, you look like your pictures. No, I'm like, oh, okay, like that's what I thought. But I'm like, maybe I don't, you know? So whatever, long story short, like I said, um, I started to notice like every time we would get into an argument, he would bash me, like call me fat all the time. And you're, you're just fat and ugly, nobody wants you, like all this stuff. And I still then, like just paid it no mind. I'm like, oh, he's just mad, you know, whatever. He's just mad. So he's just saying, trying to hurt my feelings. I didn't really see any signs at the beginning. Like, yeah, he used to like talk shit. And he used to badmouth me to everyone else, which I didn't find this out till later. I don't know why no one defended me, especially because they were people that knew me, knew me. So, I mean, whatever. It is what it is. I don't care. I know who I am. I know that's your girl, yet you're calling her fat, you're calling her ugly, like you're saying all these things about her. How can you do that if that's your girl, yet you're riding in her car, you're this and you're that. So I don't believe that now. I did then. I did really think like, oh shit, you know, maybe I need to lose weight. Maybe I need to do something different about myself. No, 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 you don't. Be you, love who you are. Don't let any man tell you that you're not beautiful, you're ugly, you're fat. I'm all these things, and then why are you still talking to me? Why? Obviously, because he was using me, but then I was so stupid. I'm just like, you know what? This person needs help, and I can help them. That is the problem that we do. We think that we can help these men, and we can't, because the only person that helps them is themselves. If they don't want to change, they're not going to change. Like, we swear we can change a man, no bring you back to the actual story time the day of everything so i used to work at home depot that's where i met really close friends which i'm so thankful i did like natasha shout out to natasha still friends with her i love it kept it real from the beginning like when i first met her even till this day like till this day like she's she was around when all this was going on. She actually, I will never forget, never. She said to me, mm -mm, like, if he ever does anything to you, I'm like, no, he's not like that. No, no, no. I know he talks all this shit, but that's not him. That's not, you know, no. A month or two later, my ass was out of work for what? Three weeks to a month because she was right. Because my ex used to show up at my, my job, um, every now and then and this like I said he never put hands on me he was just very like verbally abusive and um, emotional and she just saw how we interacted one day he came to the job and he was drunk as I don't know what and I don't even know who brought him there actually I do know who and I was very mad at that person for bringing him there because that caused an issue so I'm like in garden at Home Depot you know whatever just in garden garden work to ourselves like you don't gotta do nothing you're just sitting in there no one barely comes into garden cashier like a knock on my little window because you have like a little glass thing um and I'm like and it's him he's like in my face like oh oh like I knew he was drunk so I'm like oh here we go. I'm like, what are you doing here? Like, I'm gonna get in trouble. He starts like getting in my face. And I guess the other worker that works in the seasonal um, notice and um, they like, he leaves or whatever. And they come up to me like, oh, are you okay? And I said, yeah, I'm fine. And later that day, I find out that he was like trying to fight the worker in the parking lot with the carts or whatever, the older man, like he pushed him, whatever, I don't know. I really don't know, cause I wasn't there, I was just, working and this is a different time he comes into home depot he's like acting reckless in the aisles i really don't know so the cops and i'm hiding now in like the break room in the back and the cops ended up being called and they come into the job and they're like oh you know we're gonna release him we're gonna release him to you is that okay and i'm thinking like i knew like he couldn't go home because the drama at home which who knows if it was even true what he was saying but so i was like yeah like they're like oh do you have a restraining order on him I'm like no they're like, okay well, we're gonna release you to him and i'm like all right like i wasn't scared or anything like he was just drunk and just talking his shit so whatever so he gets released to me when I think it's two days later it might be later in the week i really don't remember it could be a week later a week apart i don't remember so long story short he was sitting in my car and he's like i have to go to my cousin's house and i'm like all right whatever just make sure you're here at this time to pick me back up 
So I get out of work, it's like 10 o'clock at night. And I'm like, what the hell, he's not here, he's not here. I'm calling him, calling him, he's not answering, not answering. I'm like, what the hell, an hour later goes by. Now the overnight people are there, and I'm really cool with the one guy. And he was like, oh, is everything okay, are you okay? I said, yeah, you know, I'm just waiting on my ride. They were supposed to be here like an hour ago. They're like, do you want us to call somebody? I'm like, no, I need, because I need to be home. Like, I can't not go home without my vehicle and my stuff. Like, you know, I'm like, no, I'm sure he'll be here. Maybe something happened, maybe he fell asleep. Like, it's so cool. He showed up at maybe 11.30, maybe almost 12 o'clock, and like whatever, he, I'm like pissed off, and he's like, I'm gotta go to my cousin, so I blah, 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 I take my cousin somewhere, I'm like, alright, whatever, but like, I'm about to drop him, but I need to go to my cousin first, blah, blah, blah. Alright, so his cousin lives, his cousin was somewhere in Lakewood somewhere, he doesn't even know where he had to go, honestly, so whatever, I get in the car, chilling, like nothing you know i texted one of his friends and i'm like hey blah 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 is acting weird like do you know what's going on and literally she called me i'm literally like this i'm like hello i didn't even get to say hello completely he knocks the phone out of my hand now mind you he's driving so i'm in the passenger seat he knocks the phone out of my hand, it goes flying to the back seat. And I'm like, I scream. I'm like, stop! I scream his name. And I, he just started wailing on me. Like, he's driving, he's like wailing on me, so I'm this way, and I'm like uh, wailing on this side, and I'm like, what the hell is going on? Everything went so fast. He just keeps wailing and wailing and screaming to the point where he took me by his arm. I'm sitting in the seat. He takes me by the, like, arm like this, and has my feet dangling in the car because he lifted me off of my seat. And I'm screaming, and I'm like, oh, you know, whatever. I'm screaming, going crazy. He takes, like, my head and is banging it on the dashboard, dashboard of my car. So he's, like, banging my head on it. And he, so, he, and he's doing all this while he's driving. So he's driving and not caring. And when we were driving, like, so we're driving in, on the back roads of Lakewood, and the uh, the rail was right here with the yellow signs that tell you, you know, when you're going that way. So I'm literally like, we're like this close, and I I grab the wheel and turn it so we can not crash into the guardrails. Turn it, and then he starts driving like regular, and I'm like. <gasps> take me to the hospital, take me to the hospital, please, 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 like, I won't say it was you, I need to go to the hospital, please take me to the hospital, please, 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 and he's yelling, and I honestly don't even know what he was saying, I, I have no idea what he was saying, because I was just, like, so, like, oh my god, please get me help, I won't say it was you, I just need help, and the next thing I know, we're by the McDonald's, and, um, in uh, Brick by Kentwood Apartments. And I don't know what made us switch seats. I think he was falling asleep. And I'm like, yo, 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 come here. I, I know where I think, I think I know where you're trying to go. Somehow we switched seats. And now I'm driving and I'm like, what the fuck? I know where I'm at because I have friends that lived over here. So I'm like, what am I gonna do? What should I do? Should I drive towards the hospital? I'm like, I can drive towards the hospital because he's sleeping. And if right now, if he looks at my face, he sees this side. So he can't even see what just happened because it's this side of my face. So I'm like, let me get to either the hospital or any public place that's near us. Because if he wakes up, he can wake up and continue wailing on me and kill me. Or he's going to wake up and just see the side of my face and not even think anything of it. So I was like, what do I do, what do I do, what do I do? So we're by the Wawa on like County Line Road in Lakewood. And I'm like, you know what, now's my fucking chance. So I pull over in there. I'm like, if he does wake up, I'm just saying I'm running to use the bathroom. Mind you, that Wawa has no bathroom. I had no idea. I thought they did. So I pull over and I fucking run. I ran so fast into that Wawa, everyone must have been like, what the fuck? I run in there and everyone stops and stares at me. Obviously my face is out to here, I'm all crazy. So I run and I said, oh my God, oh my God, oh my God, somebody please help me, please help me. My boyfriend's in the car and he just attacked me, literally what I said. He just attacked me, I'm like, I need to hide. So they rush me into their back like room and um 
and they give me some ice and I'm like right there I happen to park right by the cameras I'm like it's right there I'm parked right there I was like I'm so terrified and scared to call the police like I can't do it so they call the police the police come in like I don't even know how long because I'm just like what the hell it's one o'clock in the morning my family doesn't know where I'm at no one knows what's going on like what do I do the cops come and I literally see them arresting him from my car they you know put me in the ambulance and they're like did you just come from a party I'm like no I just came from work and uh, we were in the car and I don't know what happened and they're like okay we're gonna get you help blah blah, blah. I think I they asked me do you want to go to Lakewood or do you want to go to Brick and I said which one's better they're like your best bet is Brick I said all right so that's where I went community I think it was called community I don't remember so I'm in there and I walk in I'm like well this is weird I've never been to this hospital um, I tell them what happened they're like she can walk I'm like yeah I can walk and they're asking me a million questions like what happened all this stuff so long story short they had a call the judge like they woke the judge up because I said it was like one in the morning they woke the judge up out of his sleep and I got a right away um is it ROA a restraining order whatever I got a restraining order I'm by myself at the hospital, freaking out. I had no Wi-Fi. I was contacting his friend because she actually said she heard she heard everything. She heard on the phone when I screamed. She just didn't know what was going on. Like, I got the restraining order. They called the judge out of, out of bed and got my restraining order. And I remember trying to text his friend to let her know that I was in the hospital, but I was okay. Like, I was fine. And I was just trying to contact my family because like I said, no one knew what was going on where I was or anything. And I lived with my grandmother at the time. So my cousin was actually pregnant with my my cute little nephew, Gavin. And um, I somehow got Wi-Fi and it was like, nay, like this is what's going on. So the next morning, it was like 7 in the morning, my Titi Mari and Nene. And I just remember seeing Nene with her little pregnant belly. And I remember just running up to them and giving them the biggest hug ever and I was crying and I was crying and like I'm sorry that's all I kept saying I kept apologizing like I'm sorry I'm sorry I'm sorry like they just keep giving me such a big hug and like we're just so happy that you're okay like what the hell happened so I remember going home to my grandmother and literally so I had a really bad concussion I have a fractured bone in here so like only I notice it. You're not gonna, you might not notice it. You might now, cause I'm telling you guys the story, but they said like I needed cosmetic surgery. I didn't do it. So basically every time I'm like drained and tired and all that, you'll notice under here, all under here is like a different color. It's from that, the incident. So he fractured my bones. He fractured my bones, broke some stuff in my face here. Um, my blood vessels were uh, broken, so every my whole white, where it's white, was all red. Um, it was a fractured bone, the blood vessels, concussion, and something else. I can't remember, honestly. It was something else. But, um, so yeah, that's what happened there. So I remember going home to my grandmother, and my, having, I had a concussion. So I was out of work for like three weeks to a month. But she's screaming and screaming, and I'm like, not right now, please, not right now. Like, this is not what I need right now. My head is killing me. Like, I almost lost my life. Like, <laughs> me and him both would have been over that guardrail if I didn't turn the wheel when I did. And, um, but yeah, so got home, all that. My cousin started yelling at me. He's like, how could you let somebody do this? And I'm like, listen. You guys don't know what happened. I didn't let anybody do this. It happened. Like, you know, I can't do anything about it now. I can only do something moving forward. He reached out to me and apologized, and that's not him, and he doesn't know what got into him. Blah, blah, blah. Long story short, people, pay attention to the signs of drugs because that will change you completely the day after the hospital when i was allowed to get my car because it was still parked in front of wall wall they were like just make sure you look for a, a <laughs> um, officer like i'm not trying to be funny but i don't do that stuff so i don't know what it is i'm actually looking for because they said that's what they found inside the car i did end up finding one and i did just chuck it i threw it out i was just like what the hell is this shit um the only thing 
thing that sucks, like, there was still, like, blood all over my car, which I'm so happy I don't have that car anymore, because that was, like, a lot of reminder, and it, it, like, tore me up for the longest, but, um, there was still, like, blood all over my dashboard, and, and places, or whatever, so, yeah, but I don't have that car anymore, thank God, and I don't talk to that person anymore, thank God. It was, like, really traumatizing, because, like, I miss so, sorry, okay, I miss so many signs, and I just, it makes me mad, and not makes me mad because I learned from it, I know the signs now, like, I know, and I will never let anyone tell me that I'm this and I'm that, like, I'm not worthy, or I'm ugly, or, uh, you know, whatever, like, I love everything about me, you can't tell me now, you cannot tell me shit, like, it took me a while to realize that the problem he had was really with himself, it was not me has a lot mentally not okay with him and he's gonna continue to do that to the next girl and the next girl and I didn't know this but after everything once some people found out like what went on or whatever they were like all the stories kept coming out like why didn't I know this before you know I'm not the first person and I'm not the last person that he did that to and even after all that I was like you know what it was a drug it was a drug it wasn't him and I still give him benefit of doubt has the initials on my finger so I mean like I have to get this covered I still just never did but I don't know you live and you learn and I learned and I just don't want people to think that they're stuck in a situation because you're not this man used to I don't even want to call him a man this boy used to literally threaten like my family like Oh, I'm going to throw a brick through your window. Oh, I'm going to bash your cousin's head with the brick. Like, what? What? It was all the drug talk, but still, like, oh, Google my name. You should Google my name. He'll always say, you should Google my name. Like, you shouldn't be proud of what, you're, what comes up on Google for your name. And who used to say, like, oh, you're going to be on the news. Watch, you're going to be on the news. I'm like, yo, what the fuck? That's when I started fearing for my life. And every time I would call his mother. And his mother would put him right in his place. But still, I'm literally, like, I couldn't believe, even after, like, I, I just don't understand. I, I don't get it. Like, if, I think it was, like, maybe two years after I don't even know if it was two years. It might have been the year after. Because you guys know I work at Applebee's. Um, I ran into him at Applebee's. Well, he ran into me at Applebee's. He's like, oh, let me see your finger. You still have the tattoo. Like, like, oh, I want to apologize in person also. Like, what? But then you're telling your mother all this shit, making her not like me and all this stuff, when really it's just you. Like, I don't talk bad about your family, and I don't talk bad about you. I just say, people go through things, shit happens. Like, you know... Um, it's just crazy because he ended up working for one of my managers also and it was like everywhere I went I could not get away from him but long story short it happened I was you know physically mentally verbally emotionally abused by one of my exes and it made me stronger, honestly. Um, now I know like what signs to watch out for when it comes, and I say this like when it comes to drugs because he had a drug problem and that's why a lot of things happened. That's what I told myself. Like it was just a drug, just drugs, but even like later on in time, it wasn't just the drugs. He just has a lot of issues. And you can't fix everybody. So, lesson learned. I love myself and everything about me. And I will never let a person get to me like that. Like, words, sticks and stones may break my bones, but words will never hurt me. I really believe that now. So I just want all of you to take from my story and my experience and everything. Get out while you can. Recognize the signs. And don't feel like you don't have anyone because you do. You really do. There are a bunch of people out there, female and male, who go through abuse that don't say anything at all. You are not alone, and you have other people to talk to. This is a little deep, this one. 
I don't mind answering questions. This is probably the first time in years me actually like really talking about everything. Um, a lot of uh, things have been popping up with this person. Um, so I'm like, you know what? Let me just share my story. Not bashing him, not what I was doing. Like shit happens, like I said. Um, things happen, people grow up, thing, you know, life happens. I'm not going to be mad. I'm not mad. I forgave him a while ago. I forgave him. Um, because honestly, if I did not, I wouldn't forgive myself, you know? So, it was lesson learned. I learned a lot. I won't go through it again. I will never allow a person to put their hands on me. Um, and yeah. He got lucky, honestly. Because, um... I guess I'll put this part in. I know when everything happened, I reached out to You wanted Chris Brown, you got Chris Brown. Because everyone knows I'm a huge Chris Brown fan. Um, obviously, till this day, that still bothers me. Because nobody asked for it. I didn't ask to be put in the hospital. I didn't ask to wake up with um, black eyes and you know all that had happened to me you don't ask for those things so that really did bother me but um yeah you live you learn you grow and you know not to make those same mistakes so woo! i need to end this video but stay tuned for more story time let me know what you want to hear next i'm all open to questions and all that i have no problem talking about it now Stay tuned for more videos. Ready? Ah, yes. If one thing from this video I can take from, or you can take from, I hope it literally just helps you get away or get help or recognize the signs before it's too late, honestly.